Is there a secret to growing great peppers? Well, I think there is. Um, I've had many people tell me that their production this year of peppers are just terrible. Well, my plants, as you can see, are beyond flourishing. Uh, we're looking at my, my banana peppers. There are so many on this plant. Uh, it, this is just one plant. I've got my cayenne peppers. I've got, uh, I think these are Carmen's back here. I've got the bells. The bells, I have so many bells on each plant. Look at this. There is one, two, three, four, five, six peppers on each plant. Huge production this year. I've got all varieties. These are the Black Beauties. Aren't these great? More bells. And it just keeps on going and going and going. So is there a secret? Well, one thing that I found by talking to multiple people is they've been overwatering. We have found that peppers, we all know, love heat, but they don't want or need a lot of water. So we have really, with this Back to Eden method, have relied on the very, very deep wood chips and then our, our human compost, uh, which we add to our existing soil. And my husband also uses his own urine, which is high in nitrogen, which has, I believe, lended to the success of high production. Uh, I mean, you're looking at the, the production right here. It's just incredible. So keep your pepper plants dry in between waterings. Don't overwater. Um, if you're really interested in a successful garden, consider the Back to Eden method. There's many videos on YouTube that you can watch that will explain the method. We let our wood chips sit for a year, so never use um, fresh wood chips. And boy, what else can I tell you? Um, obviously the heat, but uh, I think that's it. Here's a little bit of the production that I just picked today, and I'm going to go inside and start my canning and make some fresh salsa. It's a beautiful batch, isn't it? But that's my secret advice, which probably isn't secret advice at all, but uh, um, really, don't overwater.